So Oxbotica is a software development company. We develop a software for autonomous vehicles. So the software we develop it enables the vehicles to be intelligent, enables them to drive themselves. And our focus isn't myopic about passenger cars. We're looking at all sorts of vehicles. So vehicles that would work in construction sites, vehicles that would work in mines, vehicles that work on highway, and also vehicles that work off highway in places like airports. Autonomy is very important economically and sociologically as well. So you know, one of our, our big objectives with autonomy is to improve road safety. And we think we can do that by using software to replace humans that sometimes don't pay attention. So a lot of our focus is around bringing safety to these systems and these environments. So whether it's a vehicle working on a road or a vehicle operating in a mine, the idea is that autonomy brings increased safety for all the people in those vehicles and around those vehicles. Well, we see the market being very differentiated. So the idea that the time frame when you and I could buy an autonomous vehicle as individuals, that's probably 10 years away. And I think the industry is now recognizing how complex a problem that is. In the near term, we're focused with companies that want to operate fleets of autonomous vehicles in carefully controlled environments, you know, such as airports or campus type communities. So our focus right now is how do we start to deploy a service in environments that can be controlled and then expand from there. A, a lot of our work right now is around urban autonomy. Um, so we've already conducted road trials in Oxford, we've already conducted road trials in London. Um, earlier on this year we announced a partnership with Addison Lee that will mean that our software will start to work on Addison Lee's vehicles and, and over the course of this year you'll start to see us deploying small numbers of vehicles equipped with our software drive around London. Next year you'll start to see our software in commercial operation in taxis, autonomous taxis that are actually carrying passengers. So it's a really exciting time for us and for the industry and for us especially to be the first to be doing this. Everybody who's ever been in a car, whether they can drive or whether they can't drive, has all always imagine that situation where they can just press a button and the car will drive itself. So we've all done that as humans and that's really why this is such an interesting conversation. And of course we'd all like that tomorrow. Um, you know, we see that starting to happen over the next 5 to 10 to 15 years, uh, but it will happen and I think that's the journey we're all on.